hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so it's not being one day for using the new evolution x new official update we got the another but the final stable update for our second most mature custom rom awaken os as i already told you i will give you each and every custom rom update details that's why there are lots of videos are created for every rom please check the thumbnail or the video name for the latest version of the rom so today we will install and review the new update of Awaken OS 2.4. So you need to download only two files. One is Awaken OS ROM zip file and second is finalized zip. Now go to the security setting and remove all the pins and the passwords. Now use the advanced reboot from the power menu or use the power button combo to boot your device into the TWRP. So all is done here. Now without wasting a time, let's get started. On the new adventure. If you are already on the Awaken OS, then just flash the ROM zip, no need to wipe. But if you are coming from the other ROM, you need to do the full format, so keep the backup of all the data. Once booted to the TWRP, tap install and select the ROM zip file, install it. Once installation gets complete, again tap install and flash the finalized zip. Here I got some error because of wrong zip file, but finally I flash it. Now tap at once, then tap flash current TWRP. You can also flash the TWRP installer zip given under the video description for the OnePlus 6 and 60. Now tap reboot and select recovery. Once booted to the recovery, go to the wipe and format data type PS. Yes. Now tap reboot to the system. It will take one minute to boot into the beautiful boot animation of Awaken OS. Once booted to the Awaken, I done the full setup of the ROM. So all is completed here, let's go to the about phone section. Don't accept heavy changes in this update, all things are similar like the last build. It's Android 12, the new Android 12.1 will be released soon. This is the same old version of Aura 2.4. Security patch is still old 5th 2022. The biggest change in this update is the kernel has been shifted to the cap based Primus 4.9.230. As compared to the last 4.9.227, this one is the cap pace and lots of the performance tweaks were added as this kernel is built with the latest Google LLVM Clang tool. Say Linux is the enforcing like the last build. This is the latest build of 20th March 2022. So as you seen the new kernel is the biggest part of the new update so I will first do the performance test. Normally all things are working very good, no lag whatsoever. When I done the Geekbench test, I got the 509 for the single core and 2253 for the multi core. Both are the higher than the average results of the Geekbench. So these results beat on the every custom ROM like we done the test for the old build in the last video but today we got the slight increase in the results. It's also beating our OnePlus 60 result in the race of the Geekbench results. As kernel is enforcing, we took the safety net check, it's got successful, no issue in the safety net in this build. One of the biggest fix of this update is all mic and the call audio issue has been fixed as in this build they added the Lineage 19 March audio changes. But my sim card tray was broken last night. I can't able to make the calls but I cross verified this with the different users. And as per their review, finally audio is fixed. I just done the few IP call using the telegram and it's also working fine as I done the test in the last video. Volume panel has been shifted to the left side now. But I can't find any dedicated setting to move it to the right or the left. In this build, developers added the new improved version of the vibration intensity. So you can feel the difference of the new vibration while typing or any other vibration related activities on your device. As per the change log, nightlight is fixed. Actually, I didn't check the nightlight feature in any of the video. But when I tested it now, it seems working good. Some Bluetooth audio codex improvement has been done in the build. When I connected my Oppo Eno M31, I got working LDAC and SBC codecs, but the ACC audio codec format is not working in the ROM. Developers has done some improvement in the OpenGL and the Hulkan graphics drivers, though the graphics drivers versions are still old. The only bug I found in this build is the OTG. OTG again not working, actually in the last build it was working, but now it's got broken in this build again. Last bug of OT updater has been fixed, it's not for closing while checking the updates and the change logs. We can manually select the files to flash using this updater also. 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस अपडेट एक्सेप्ट द ओटी जी बग ऑल थिंग्स आर सॉल्व एंड इट्स अ फुल्ली वर्किंग बिल्ड नाउ कम्पेयर टू द साबरी हाउस सो फ्लैश इट एंड एन्जॉय द न्यू लाइफ ऑफ वन प्लस सिक्स एंड सिक्सटी सो दैट इज फॉर टूडे गाइज इफ यू थिंक आई हेल्प यू प्लीज डू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ अवर अपकमिंग कंटेंट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग स्वीनेस टाइम टेक केयर बाय बाय